Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. After losing her husband in a balloon trip, a pilot decides to face her fears to help a meteorologist make the greatest scientific discovery of the century. Today we will recap the story of the 2019 movie, The Aeronauts. In the city of London in 1862, Amelia Wren is on her way to her first balloon flight after the accident that took her husband's life. Her sister, Antonia, tries to talk her out of the flight, but Amelia is determined to fulfill her commitment to James Glacier, one of the first scientists to study meteorology. A crowd of thousands of people are present to watch the largest and sturdiest balloon in the world take off. During the trip, the duo intends to break the world record and fly above 23,000 feet, a height that no man or woman has ever dared to reach before. However, there are less than six minutes until takeoff and Amelia has not shown up yet. In addition, John warns that a major storm is approaching the city, which could put the pilots' lives at risk. Ned is one of the entrepreneurs who invested in that expedition and says that the flight will take place that day, otherwise he will have to reimburse the 10,000 people who paid to witness that historic milestone. So James assures them that the trip will not be cancelled, all he needs is for the storm to wait for an hour and a half, until they get through the clouds. When Amelia arrives at the venue, the show begins. The whole audience is there to see her and the woman assures them that it will be a memorable day. Before entering the balloon, the pilot picks up her puppy, Posey, and assures her that together the three of them will change the history of the world that day. John, James's partner, says goodbye to his friend and wishes the pair a safe trip. When they are a few meters high, Amelia picks up Posey and throws her out of the balloon. Everyone is horrified by this cruelty, until they discover that the puppy was wearing a parachute. When they reach the skies, James questions why Amelia put on all that show, and she says she was just meeting the expectations of the audience, who paid to be entertained. While the woman removes her makeup and puts on her pilot's uniform, James uses a pair of binoculars to observe the Royal Society, his Academy of Science. The boy remembers the day he and John spotted a balloon flying into the sky and James had the idea of doing the same to complete his meteorological studies. This was two years ago, when the scientific community still did not give credibility to his studies. When he gets home, the boy is approached by his father who, after reading the newspapers, has become concerned about his son's reputation. However, despite being ridiculed and without the support of his colleagues and family, James managed to make his project happen. In the balloon, Amelia asks James to help her loosen her corset and advises the scientist to put on his raincoat. Instead, the man takes one of the pigeons in its box and ties some notes to its feet. James does not intend to die on that expedition, but if he does, he wants to make sure that his studies will live on. Minutes later, they reach the clouds and James soon realizes that the storm is approaching much faster than he anticipated. While they are preparing to face that phenomenon, a strong air current hits the balloon, which makes it fly in an ungoverned manner. The pair is tossed from side to side and James ends up getting his head cut off. To get them out of that chaos, Amelia intends to climb up and fly above the clouds, as this is the safest way to escape the storm. Suddenly, however, the balloon begins to fall and the woman is left dangling over the side. James tries to help her, but cannot reach her hand. So he uses a rope to tie himself to the balloon and stretches his body out in order to reach her. After a few seconds of desperation, they make it back to the basket and are finally safe. Amelia throws some sandbags out, so the weight of the balloon decreases and they can go up more easily. The woman then ties herself to the balloon to ensure her safety in case another accident occurs. The next few minutes are turbulent, but soon it gets calm and the duo can breathe a sigh of relief while contemplating that beautiful view. While looking through the telescope, John is anxious, because he can no longer see the balloon. Just then, a boy approaches him and tells him that he would love to be up there. Charlie asks permission to use the telescope and claims that he sees the balloon. Upon hearing this, John is filled with hope and relieved to know that his friend is alive. Less than 20 minutes ago, the explorers left the mainland behind and already need to make repairs to the balloon in order to continue their journey. James is struck by the complete silence and they both begin to shout with euphoria in the midst of this vastness. As they enter the clouds again, Amelia remembers her last flight and falls into the basket. James tries to help her, but the woman asserts that she will soon be fine. She remembers the day Antonia came to her house. Amelia was sleeping on the floor next to Posey and was woken up by her sister knocking on the door. The woman was worried about her because, since the death of her husband, which occurred two years ago, Amelia was not in the mood even to take a shower. Antonia says that if Pierre were alive, he would not want this life for Amelia. The woman then invites her sister to a meeting at Philip's house, a family friend, and manages to convince her to go. During the party, her aunt approaches and tells her that Antonia is trying to convince some men to ask Amelia to dance, but they are all intimidated by her. 
James is the only gentleman at the party brave enough to approach the widow, however, he does not wish to ask her to dance, but to be her co-worker. Until then, they did not know each other, but James had heard about Amelia. After introducing himself as a meteorologist, he claims to believe that the weather can be predicted and asks the woman to be his pilot so that he can complete his studies. While they are talking, Amelia spots her sister approaching next to a man and asks James to dance with her. Amelia is not convinced that she should accompany him on the expedition, but changes her mind when James says that understanding the climate means understanding how to keep ships and sailors safer, as well as helping to make farms more productive and enabling the entire world's population to prepare against flooding and drought. Upon realizing the importance of this study and how this discovery could save thousands of lives, the widow decides to accept the proposal. Days later, Antonia finds out that Amelia intends to fly again and tries to convince her otherwise. She claims that she doesn't want to lose her only sister because of another foolishness. However, Amelia says that she will continue her mission, for it was in heaven that she found her greatest happiness. Then Antonia strikes back, saying that the reason for Amelia's happiness was Pierre and not the damn balloon. As she recovers from her own memories, Amelia stands up and helps James clean the wound on his head. Just then, a butterfly lands on the balloon and they are amazed to see an insect flying at that height. Suddenly hundreds of other butterflies appear and James is able to prove his friend John's theory. The man speculated that there was an air current in which only insects fly. James had never believed in this theory and could never have imagined that during his expedition he would be able to prove his friend right. At that moment, Amelia begins to cry, because she knows that her husband would love to witness that moment. Pierre was the bravest man she had ever known, but of all his qualities, the one she admired most was his deep and true love for the beauty of the world. After listening to her sister's advice, Amelia decides to go to the academy to talk to James. Before entering, she is approached by Charles. The woman informs him that she is looking for Mr. Glacier and the scientist asks her to wait outside. He states that he will ask his colleague to meet her in the courtyard, as ladies are forbidden to enter that place. However, Amelia ignores him and keeps walking until she finds her traveling partner. She reveals that she will not be able to accompany him on the expedition and asks his forgiveness for abandoning him on something so important. James informs her that the balloon is already being built and a lot of money has already been invested in that research. But Amelia says she never wants to get into a balloon again. That night when he gets home, he reveals to his mother that the expedition has been cancelled and goes upstairs to talk to his father, who suffers from Alzheimer's. When Arthur spots James, he doesn't recognize him. The boy claims to be his son, but the old man says that his boy is only 10 years old. James looks through the telescope he gave his father as a gift and asks what he was looking for up there. Arthur reveals that he was observing the asteroid palace and gives his son a pair of binoculars. This will enable him to observe the stars during the balloon trip. Suddenly, the man loses his sanity again and asks what James is doing in his room. Just then, Ethel appears and calls her son to dinner. Before leaving the room, James takes the binoculars and says goodbye to his father. Now at 22,000 feet, the duo must face a temperature of minus 6 degrees, but all the cold is compensated for when they reach the height of 23,000 feet and break the record. At that moment, James and Amelia are flying higher than any other human being of the time. After they celebrate their victory, James uses another pigeon to send a message to Charles Green. Now that they have accomplished their mission, Amelia prepares to lower the balloon, but her partner tries to stop her. As they go up, the temperature rises and James did not take a suitable outfit to withstand that weather. Still, the scientist wants to keep climbing, because he believes that his research is more important than his own life. Upon realizing the value that James places on this expedition, Amelia agrees to continue, on the condition that she will be the one to determine the moment when it is no longer possible to go up. In order to lessen the weight of the basket, she throws another sandbag out, while remembering the reason that made her agree to embark on that trip. One night, after informing James that she will not be flying the balloon, John shows up at her house and says he is there to deliver a book to her. Flipping through the pages, one can find drawings of snowflakes made by James during his study of nature's mathematical possibilities. The man then claims that James is a brilliant scientist who, with Amelia's help, will be able to make magnificent discoveries. Upon hearing this, Amelia says that she has already made her decision and John will not be able to persuade her. However, the man replies by saying that, in this life, few people have the chance to change the world and Amelia is one of them. Therefore, what lies before her is not an opportunity, but a great responsibility to human history. When John leaves, the woman cannot help but reflect on his words, and so in the middle of the night she goes to visit her husband's grave. Minutes after arriving there, snowflakes begin to fall, and she understands this sudden phenomenon as a sign that she needs to fulfill her mission. At 26,500 feet, 
The balloon's ropes begin to freeze, as does James. The balloon is not prepared to withstand a temperature of minus 15 degrees Celsius and Amelia knows this. However, she continues to defy her limits for the sake of science. James is having trouble taking notes because his hands are freezing. He sends his last dove to bring new information to the Royal Society scientists, but discovers that the animal is dead. So James decides to throw the box out, in order to eliminate weight to continue climbing. Upon realizing this, Amelia warns that the balloon is not safe, as the atmospheric pressure could tear it. Even knowing that, at that altitude, tears can be fatal, James continues to try to eliminate as much weight from the balloon as possible. Amelia tries to stop him and they end up in a fight. Suddenly, the scientist's nostrils begin to bleed and the lack of oxygen begins to affect his brain. The woman then states that she does not want to be responsible for someone else's death. She could not allow the same situation to happen that occurred the day her husband died. On that trip, she was also the pilot. Amelia wanted to fly higher and Pierre asked her to step down, because she was putting the balloon at risk. Suddenly, the seams started to tear and the couple had to get rid of all the objects in the basket until there was nothing left but their own bodies. Knowing that he and his wife would die from the fall, Pierre embraced her, and then unexpectedly jumped out of the balloon. In this way, Amelia managed to survive, but was never able to forgive herself for what had happened. Upon discovering the true story, James asks for forgiveness for what he did and says he is sorry for what happened. Both agree that it is time to lower the balloon and the pilot uses all her strength to open the gas release valve, but without success, because the device was frozen. Meanwhile, James is about to pass out and Amelia asks him to make an effort to stay awake, as she will need to climb the balloon to open the valve. Since her hands are frozen, the woman uses her arms to climb the rope to the top of the balloon. Along the way, she falls and hangs from the rope. At that moment, the woman thinks of giving up everything, but the memory of her husband gives her the strength to continue. Then Amelia stands up and grabs the rope. She then ties herself up to ensure her safety. She uses all her determination to reach the top of the balloon and kicks the valve, in an attempt to break the ice. When the woman finally manages to open the gas valve, she needs to leave her shoe on to keep it open. Amelia uses a knife to remove her boot and faints shortly after accomplishing her mission. As the balloon descends, her body slips and the pilot is thrown down. Luckily, she has taken precautions, and despite the fall, her body is still attached to the balloon. Amelia cries out for James, but the scientist is in no condition to help her. The pilot needs to return to the basket, and to do this, she has the idea of using her body weight to swing herself to reach the balloon. After much effort, Amelia manages to get back to the basket and finds her partner passed out. She tries to wake him up and is thrilled to realize that the balloon is coming down. At this point, her hopes for survival are renewed and she is even happier when she realizes that her colleague is also alive. James wakes up and finds that the trip began an hour and 11 minutes ago and the pair has managed to reach the height of 28,600 feet. Realizing that Amelia's hands are frozen, the man pours brandy to warm them and thanks the woman for risking her life to save them, although he was not conscious to see the challenges the pilot faced. James is certain that she performed a great heroic act. Just then, it begins to snow, and the scientist tries to collect the ice flakes because he believes it will be interesting to analyze the melting snow. At some point during the descent, Amelia realizes that something is wrong. Instead of falling, the ice flakes are just hovering, which means that the balloon is descending at the same speed as the snow. The same story repeats itself in Amelia's life and the duo must get rid of all the extra weight of the balloon. Despite throwing all the objects out, even their coats, the balloon continues to fall at high speed. Then James has the idea to climb the hoop and break the ropes that hold the basket in place. In this way, most of the weight will be eliminated. The scientist uses a knife to cut the ropes and get rid of the basket, but this is still not enough to keep them safe. Although this strategy helped to slow the speed of their fall, they were still descending too fast. If they continue like this, soon their bodies will explode when they hit the ground. In a moment of desperation, Amelia thinks of jumping so that James can save himself, but the man manages to find another way out. He cuts the ropes that hold the shape of the balloon together to form a parachute. This way the fabric rises up, plugging all the holes. This plan is their last hope, and fortunately it works as expected. The duo then starts to glide in a giant parachute and falls in the middle of a garden full of trees. James ends up in the way, stuck in a tree. Amelia is tied up by a rope and is dragged through the grass until the parachute falls to the ground. The woman faints after the accident and wakes up minutes later. Terrified, she screams for James. Her greatest fear at this point is that her partner has not survived. But to the pilot's relief, she hears the scientist's voice and walks toward him. James is injured and crawls on the floor until Amelia helps him up. Weeks later, 
Arthur reads a story in the newspaper about his son, reporting that he and his partner were the aeronauts who came closest to the stars. In addition to making his father extremely proud, James becomes a figure of great authority within the scientific community, as his discoveries during the trip made possible the first weather forecasts. However, he knows very well that none of this would be possible without the extraordinary courage of Amelia Wren and makes this claim in front of all the scientists of the Royal Society. Those who believe that this was the last adventure of these two aeronauts are mistaken. The truth is that, after that day, they continued to take to the skies in search of new discoveries. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.